All right, and we are featuring another KPRC2 News 2 Today field trip. Yes, that's it. And this week it was my turn. So I visited the hardworking ladies behind Jacinto City Dog Pound Rescue to see how they're saving the lives of stray animals and how you can help. This is Chuck. He's beautiful. He was at risk. He was going to be euthanized. We took him. Chuck, the big friendly bully mix with Dima Dex, would have lost his life if not for these special ladies. All of our dogs are great dogs. And he's just one of thousands they've saved. Here he comes. Oh, boy. This is technically Jacinto City's three-day holding area for stray dogs. They've never had a city shelter or just five open-air kennels. That is, until Jacinto City Dog Pound Rescue was founded 10 years ago by Brenda Cosen. Friend and rescue president Judy Clark says when she realized how bad the stray situation was in her hometown, she had to help. I had no idea this problem existed. But then when I met Brenda and she brought me down here and I saw all these great little dogs, that could be euthanized. I was like, wow, I'll help you. It wasn't long before the third member of this trio, Rebecca Gamage, got involved. And today they run a rescue that saves on average 375 dogs every year. We thank the city of Jacinta City for allowing us to come in here and do this. Once a dog's stray hold expires, they're immediately enrolled in the rescue. Every dog that comes in here gets this a collar. And it says, I am a pound hound. And in a decade working with the city, not one dog's been euthanized for space. We can't do it. We can't pick and choose. So we just save them all. All of the dogs who come in are vaccinated, spayed or neutered, microchipped, and if their heart were positive, they go through treatment, all of which is paid for through private donations. Then it's time to get these sweet babies out of Texas and into forever homes. Texas is absolutely full of unwanted dogs, but when you send them up to places like New York and New Jersey and Connecticut and Ohio and Virginia and Washington and Oregon and Colorado and Wisconsin, they get so excited when they see our pound hounds. The group's social media has thousands of success stories, but they need the public's help to keep this going. They need dog walkers, donations, and especially fosters. They also tell everyone who will listen to do their part to prevent unwanted litters. The answer to the problem in Texas and all over is spay and neuter. Though the days are long for this dedicated group. Even my husband says, <laughs> I don't know how you do what you do. I would not do it. <laughs> they say it's a calling they can't ignore. It's not something that you can walk away from. It's like being in a mafia. The only way out is death, okay? It helps to have a sense of humor when you're volunteering 365 days a year, and in the end, they say it's all worth it. That's my payday, to see a dog like Chuck over here that's eat up in Demodex, turned out to be a drop-dead gorgeous puppy that's in, in, a, in a bed with somebody. That's amazing. That is amazing, and they are amazing. They work with local rescue partners and out-of-state rescues to coordinate all of this. And again, they really need dog walkers, donations, and most of all, foster families so they can save more lives. If you'd like to help, you can find them on Facebook or head to our homepage at clicktohouston.com. We have all the contact information for you there. But the incredible group, Haley. Yeah, I mean, thank goodness for them. Oh, and I love that you guys get to show your personality on these field trips, yes. too. That is so you yep. to choose to go out there. Anthony, we all have rescues on this show, right? Well, we know the that's why I have two from Red Collar Rescue. But as um, Haley was mentioning about you, uh, I know how much you love animals and yes. it really came out in that story. Well, so that was just you. wonderful. And thank you to the volunteers in Jacinto City. Dog yep. Pound Rescue doing awesome work. Yeah. Uh,